beautiful silvery herb is white sagebrush, Artemisia ludoviciana. It can be identified by its silvery color and its divided leaves, but more than anything, the wonderful smell of the crushed leaves. And this also has a nice taste to it. Very strong, somewhat even sweet tasting, and it was chewed for flavor by the Blackfeet and made into a tea by the Comanche, who sometimes drink that with cream and sugar. The Apache used it for flavoring meat. The Mexican Kickapoo crushed it, salted it, and applied that to dermatitis caused by poison ivy exposure. And the Northern Cheyenne used a decoction of the leaves to wash dermatitis from poison ivy exposure. A poultice of the leaves was applied to wounds by the Mexican Kickapoo, and they also made a decoction of the whole plant to wash wounds three times a day. It's very antimicrobial, combats infections. A decoction of the leaves was drunk for colds by the Northern Cheyenne. They also crushed the leaves and used them for a snuff for sinus attacks, headaches, and nosebleeds. The Sioux used the leaves for smoking, sometimes mixed with tobacco. A decoction of the above ground parts was drunk by the Dakota, Omaha, Pawnee, Ponca, Winnebago, and Mexicicapu for stomach ailments and related ailments. The plant was used as a ceremonial incense by the Northern Cheyenne, Pawnee, Ponca, Winnebago, in Dakota. The Comanche and Arapaho both use this plant as an incense in sweat baths. Besides just normal sweat bath purposes, it was used specifically for ailments such as fevers. The Northern Cheyenne used the leaves as a tinder for fire starting. The whole above ground parts was used as a towel by the Dakota, Omaha, Pawnee, Ponca, and Winnebago. And the Kawea actually used the stems for arrows. So this isn't big enough, obviously, for arrows, but they do get much bigger. The plant was used as a cushion or bedding by the Northern Northern Cheyenne, likely because it has properties that repel insects, and for that same reason, the Cahuilla made granaries to store things like mesquite beans in out of this plant because it's an insect deterrent, so it would keep things from infesting the stored beans. So they would use it kind of like a basketry material, they use the entire plant with the leaves and all, and weave that into large circular basketry granaries that they would put atop a large boulder or a platform made of log poles.